The Lakers have the most championship experience than any other team in the league. With the NBA season returning, the Lakers look to go all in for a championship. Uh, for me to be, you know, get to the corners, to space the floor, uh, play defense as much as possible, and uh, just try to stay out the way. Lakers signed J.R. Smith to win an NBA championship. How much will he make? Now that Avery Bradley has left the LA Lakers, the franchise faces a tough decision, finding the best replacement to guard their defense. And after days of speculation, it's official. The 2013 Sixth Man of the Year, J.R. Smith, will be wearing that purple and gold jersey. With his great relationship with LeBron James, the franchise thinks that Smith might just be the guy to fill in and help them win the championship. Now, the problem is, a lot of people are actually a bit skeptical about Smith's abilities. Having 10 straight losses, we can say that it's a tad too far from landing the winning franchise. So why did the Lakers pick Smith anyway? Will he be up to the challenge? Plus, how much money will he rake from this season? Well, you're in for luck because we will answer these questions and more. So are you ready? Because today, we will talk about Lakers signed J.R. Smith to win an NBA championship. How much will he make? Basically, Smith will come in as a substitute player. So he is expected to receive a rest of season, a minimum salary contract. Sadly, his pay doesn't really fall into the Lakers cap. In fact, he will only earn nearly $290,000. That's really far from the regular $2,564,753 minimum salary for regular NBA players with 10 years of experience. With a reported net worth of $5 million, this seems a little bit too small for someone who had years of experience in the NBA. But Smith will also come as an unrestricted free agent, which means that when the season ends, he can choose which team to go on. Now, with smaller pay, and a lot of pretty bad gameplay experience, you might be wondering why did the NBA choose Smith? But before the big reveal, please do us a favor, like, subscribe, and hit that bell button so we can keep you updated on the latest financial tips and trends. Why did Avery Bradley leave? A few weeks ago, the NBA received a really big news. Avery Bradley announced his decision not to finish the season in Orlando. While he did not really specify the reason that he was leaving, he cited some family issues. This leaves the Lakers in a big dilemma since Bradley plays a primary perimeter defender. As he guards their opponents, Bradley allows the team to make the three-point shots. This means that the person who's going to replace him has big shoes to fill in. So imagine people's reaction when the franchise chose J.R. Smith instead. With several straight losses and a year off the NBA, the decision has a lot of fans wondering, but why? Well, Lakers coach Frank Vogel explained that while the team thinks Bradley is a huge loss, they don't want Smith to fill in his role. As the LA coach explained, and I quote, we're not going to ask him to come in and be Avery Bradley, unquote. Vogel added that he believed some other members can also help fill in the void. Partnership with LeBron One of the major reasons that Lakers chose Smith was his great partnership with LeBron. With his floor spacing ability, they both make a great team. I mean, who can forget about the Game 3 of the 2016 NBA Finals when he went 5 of 10 from the 3-point range? In fact, Smith's great shots gave the team 20 points and their first win in the series. So imagine LeBron's eagerness when he knew that an old pal will join in with him for this new season. As James described it, right back at it like we never left. Sounds promising, really promising. Except for that huge blunder. Smith's blunders. Landing on that winning franchise for Smith is a really huge deal. That's because he hasn't worn any NBA jersey since 2018. In fact, during his last game, he only played less than six minutes against the Pistons, with some experts claiming that his time with the NBA is a done deal. But that's because with 11 games, the Cavs lost 10. Plus, who can forget about the iconic 2018 blunder? During the NBA Finals against the Golden State Warriors, the teams tied in with 107 to 107 points, with just 4 seconds on the clock. The pressure runs high. When Smith caught a rebound from George Hill's missed free throw, the team thought that they finally got their chance. However, Smith missed the opportunity to lead before the buzzer went off, and the Cavs lost in overtime. The game ended with 124 to 114. 
This cost the team Game 1 of the NBA Finals. Yup, you can pretty much see LeBron's frustration with that one. NBA fans described the entire situation as tragic and even led to LeBron becoming an internet meme. We can pretty much conclude that Smith had a pretty rough season, but that doesn't mean he can't have a great comeback. Bounce back. One issue that Smith has is the fact that he wasn't able to play that above average defender since the 2014 to 2015 season. This is important since Bradley was able to put up a really good defense. While Smith's gameplay took a hard hit during his last season, he still got a 38.1% shot on getting those three points during the entire time that he was with the Cavs. Plus, he can shoot 39.4% on catch and shoot threes and 39.3% when he was open, which means that a defender is at least four feet away. This is important because once Smith can maintain that momentum, he can create spaces for the players in the center post, like James and Anthony Davis. If Smith wanted to stay in the game, he had to increase his three-point efficiency or work on his skills as a perimeter defender. But we can say that some two years off did him good. In fact, he was able to take advantage of his time off court to stay in shape with hopes that he can get a callback to the NBA. And there is some good feedback too. The Lakers were impressed with Smith's performance. Plus, the good thing is that Smith isn't alone. Since most of the players had struggled with a nearly five-month layoff from the NBA due to the coronavirus pandemic. Now, who's excited for this season? So, do you think that J.R. Smith has what it takes to help the LA Lakers to the championship? Let us know in the comments down below. And if you enjoy watching this video, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up.